Hello everybody, Greg Steger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a video to show you how you can use the task manager to close out a program that's running on your computer. And a couple reasons we might want to do that is, for example, one program might have locked up on you and it's unresponsive and using the little red X up in the corner to close it just isn't working anymore. Another reason might be that you had a pop-up show up on your desktop and it's a little bit suspicious. It's not a program you recognize and you think maybe it could be some kind of malware or virus. So it's best to avoid clicking on anything related to that box. So let's just go ahead and use the task manager to get rid of that and try to minimize the risk of getting something else. So let's show you how to do this. I have iTunes open at the moment and this is going to serve as the program we want to close as an example. And there's a couple different ways we can open up the task manager now for you. And I'm just going to show you one of them. If we come down to the little menu bar down here at the bottom, I'm going to right click in some empty space here and I get the little box that pops up. One of my choices is start task manager. Let's go ahead and click on that. We get a new box that pops up here. And I'm on the Applications tab, and I'm using Windows 7. That's important to remember. So I, I need to be sure that I'm on the Applications tab. It's possible that if somebody else or you have had the Task Manager open before and were on one of these other tabs, it might still be there by default. So make sure you switch to the Applications tab. Take a look for the program that you want to close. Select it and then come down here to the bottom and choose End Task. And when I do that, you see iTunes has disappeared from the background, it's disappeared from my list. I have successfully closed that program out and now I can close out Task Manager and move on with whatever I was doing, maybe launch iTunes again, maybe it'll work good now, uh, or what have you. Now, remember, this is Windows 7, so that Task Manager looks a little bit different than the Windows 8 Task Manager. It's been redesigned a little bit. So what I actually have here is a couple of screenshots of what the Windows 8 Task Manager might look like. So here, the biggest difference, you're going to notice there's no Applications tab to be on. So in this case, you want to make sure you're on the Processes tab for Windows 8. Make sure you're not on the Processes tab for Windows 7. Windows 7 is the Applications tab. Windows 8, Processes tab. And they just kind of have everything lumped together. So the applications here are listed on the same tab at the top. So basically what I'm going to do is make sure that I highlight the one that I am interested in closing out. So you can see I've got iTunes listed here on this Windows 8 machine. And if I make sure that iTunes is highlighted, again, down in the lower corner, I'm just going to choose End Task. And the same type of thing will happen as you saw on the Windows 7 machine. The program should close out and be removed from the list here. Again, this is a useful way to close out a program on the back side, so to speak, so that you can either eliminate a pop-up type box that you're suspicious of being malware or virus related, or to close out a program that's unresponsive and just not working and we need to get that closed down because it's slowing up the system. Well, thank you so much. I hope that this was helpful. Have an awesome day.